I hope you enjoyed the beginning part. <laughs> this has been painful. <laughs> of um, the program. Uh, we're here in the place that we're located at. Is <laughs> <laughs> it's in Mebane. I wasn't going to say the name. I was going to wait and let you say the name. Okay. Uh, but we're at the end. But we're at the place where we're located. <laughs> we are at the place where we are located. <laughs> we are? Yes. And the name of it is? The Wishing Well. The Wishing Well. Mebane. You could have gone anywhere, been anywhere. You stole my heart like a thief on the run. You're not much for taking chances, but you're taking a chance on me. Hey guys, welcome to another podcast episode, whatever you like to call it, yeah. of We're On Our Way. Uh, we're up here outside of Raleigh. Uh, and, uh, is it? I meant... Raleigh and Durham. Durham. It's together. Chapel Hill. I'm not, we're really not sure because, you know, we came up for some training for me and that was Chapel Hill. Yes. Yes. So we're in Mebbin. Anybody knows where that's at? Uh, it's really known for because we Googled it. It's the Tanker Outlet is here. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a few moments. Um, very quickly, we appreciate all our new subscribers. We thank you so much for watching. We know we try to put one out every other week because uh, we're not full timers. No. Uh, no. So it's hard to do one every week. Sometimes we may throw one out like every week if we got extra stuff to, to put out. But uh, you know, our goal is eventually when we retire to do this full time. So we're trying to build up for that. <laughs> uh, so when we are full time, we'll be doing one every week. Um, but it's fun to see y'all watch and make comments and go back and forth. It's on different social media. If you want to follow our different social media, it's listed in the descriptions below. So you can go down there and follow us on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, on X, on Truth, on TikTok, Gosh. on all of those things. Um, so all that stuff's down below if you want to do that. It's burning my leg. <laughs> we got the Mr. Buddy app because it's the sun's went down. It's got code on Teresa. Um, so that's one reason you don't see something every week. But we have talked to people that enjoy our program, so I we want again to say thank, thank you. you. Uh, but she came up for training, so I came up here to work. I was going to work. You told me to rest, as you said, just get get mm -hmm. some rest because I've been running for the last three weeks, four mm -hmm. weeks, doing stuff for our parents mm -hmm. and stuff at the church and just on and off different things. And uh, but I was going to sit here and work on our uh, Amazon influencer page. Uh, that's in the description. Uh, then we just got asked to be a Walmart influencer. So I said, you know, I'll go up and work on all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's weird. Here where we're camping out, which is the, uh, what's it called? Wishing well. That's what I was gonna say, because y'all make fun of me when I say whale. Well. Because you say whale. <laughs> so I'm what I'm saying, so you, some people <laughs> want me fun of me. So, uh, but I can't. I can't talk about your accent. But right? here, it's kind of weird. I can get on the phone. Internet will work if I want to do a hotspot for my TV. Mm -hmm. But anything else, if I want to sit here and do any work on my iPad to do some work, I can't. Because I thought about uploading a new video. We got one ready to go out. And I just can't do it. So yeah. I got to wait till I get back home. So it's just been kind of a weird situation here. But we've had fun. We um, have had fun. It, it's went by in a blur. You know, anybody that ever goes to continuing education or anything like that, you get so much good information, but it's so mind-numbing, and um, it just tires you out. And it was a big class, and you've always got those people that ask the questions that make the class go classes long. go longer. In case some of you haven't watched our intro, some years back, uh, she's a nurse. So she uh, took off in the summer. Uh, we did some stuff and helped with my mom and dad, and then she just went back to work a couple, a couple months ago. Almost two. So she's up here doing some training. So that's the reason again we were up here. Uh, 
and this is different because we're not. This we're was on. No, I didn't want go to ahead. Interrupt. This was on infection prevention, so it's a state requirement to be an infection prevention nurse that you do this certification. So that's what I was doing. But let's just go over a couple of things. You saw the intro. Hope you enjoyed the little deer. Uh, they told me I would see some down here. We have seen three. I would love to see a big buck, so we'll see. Maybe if I can get one of those in, I'll throw it in. There was one dead on the side of the road on the interstate. Yeah, yeah. So. There's a bunch of deer around here. Like we uh -huh. said, we saw two does. We saw another one running through the uh, the little tree line here mm -hmm. we're around. So all that was pretty cool. But they said you might see some big bucks. So I've been waiting to see one, haven't saw one. Uh, but we're just going to do an update here a little bit. Uh, just spend some time with you. As we grow, our plan is to do a couple of live events mm -hmm. uh, so we can go live every now and then with you, maybe do that at home, mm -hmm. and we can just sit around and talk with you, and maybe y'all could ask some questions. We can go back and forth, but that'll be down the road as we grow a little bit more. Uh, but yesterday, uh, we were going to take things didn't go the way we thought they would go, so we did go to a pizza place. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the name? I think it was Palm Pier. Palm Pier? Yeah. We went down uh, to get some gas. So while we were down there, we said, well, let's ride, ride into close to Duke University. And we did go to Duke and looked around one time. Uh, they chased me off the property. I'm joking. Watch the video. It's listed below. And we thought about going to UNCC today. UNC. UNC today. But I think it'd be better to go with Al. So we're going to wait and go with Alan and Beth. So Al can brag on UNC. And then I can tell you why you shouldn't brag on them. So we'll, we'll go there eventually with Alan and Beth. But we went there. The pizza was really good. We're going to drop good. in photos that we're talking mm -hmm. right now. Um, they made their own crust, their own sauce, and their own mozzarella. And it was wood fire. Uh, it was difficult finding a parking spot. Well, we went to three different places to, besides us, this place. Uh, couldn't get in. Because um, uh, we thought about leaving and finally I pulled in so there's a pizza place real close and we found a, a parking place. So. We tried to get to Elmo's Diner um, and the other one was something, maybe Dane's, waff, chicken and waffles. And it was just, everybody had the same idea we did and we didn't plan. So um, we did. I don't want to say we settled for the pizza place. It, it was really, really good. We would recommend you go there. Uh -huh. I would probably give it eight and a half, maybe. It was good. It was It was good. Her favorite place to eat pizza is in, in Huntersville. Huntersville. We'll, we'll do a review of that one eventually. And that's the reason I went eight and a half, nine, somewhere mm -hmm. through there. Uh, the crust, my crust was different than her crust mm -hmm. uh, because of the pizza I've got. They and, had specialties. So when you go in, they had pizzas of the day, you know, that they specialize in. And then mine was just, I like a traditional margarita. I had sausage. Yeah, it was called the drunken horse, I think. And it there was beer in the crust. Mm -hmm. And then it was, I think, a, a homemade sausage that they put on there. And the, your sauce was spicier. Yeah. But you do. You I are like going to put the code, the QR code. Well, no, I've I, I done, and right now, as you're seeing this, sometimes I'll do things and she don't see it. I, I looked at the menu. Oh, so okay. the menu is going through so you can look at it. Again, if you're up there, I would recommend. Mm -hmm. And like always, if you go into the place that we recommend, just go up and say, hey, we saw you on, we're on our way. Mm -hmm. That way it just shows that, because we, we asked them if we could take. And yeah. they said, oh, yeah, go ahead and take. So that was really good, and we mm -hmm. highly recommend it. And we just came home after that, built a little fire, as you all will see at the end of the mm -hmm. telecast. We'll throw that out and just hung out a little bit. We were going to do a, uh, a review somewhat of our clam again. And with the clam, we were going to, I ordered some extra sides for it. Mm -hmm. We were going to put it up, show you the temperature outside and then inside, mm -hmm. then put the Mr. Buddy on. Mm -hmm and then close, close all of them in. but one mm -hmm. and let you know how 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 much heat was in there mm -hmm. because there's a pretty good lot that thing throws oh off. yeah oh yeah yeah because it's right now it's burning the side of my leg that's fun so we're planning uh maybe to go camping another time this month uh then we want to go sometime in december and we're, we would love to go somewhere it's snowing 
we would love to do one adventure this year if at all possible either january february or excuse me <laughs> december or january um of a snow adventure we just think it'd be cool to the camp one time because uh lady grace supposed to be uh four seasons four seasons so we would like to just try it out to see if it worked uh, but we don't know i mean we want to we want to be safe and we want to be smart um well we want to go in where we can get in and experience some snow and be able to get out mm -hmm. because we do have some places we could go but we just don't know if we could get out if it's snowed. Mm -hmm. so we're trying to figure that out any recommendations close to the charlotte area mm -hmm. let us know and we'll, we'll maybe try that out um also today we went to a local we we showed a little bit of that as we was walking in. I was showing you some parking lot, uh, the parking lot. But we were the parking lot, oh, the parking lot with a car. It was full. Oh. It's just a um, a local place. They've got three, mm -hmm. three of them. Uh, one's a different name. The start of one. One is, was called Country Grill. She said. I think that one is the beginning one, right? In Burlington. Well, I'll put it all in and mm -hmm. correct what if we're wrong on it. Um, and I think it was a Burlington mm -hmm. uh, family owned the mother started it and the kids is taking it over but here at the campsite which we'll talk about in a few moments he recommended this place he said that's where all the locals go and we try to go to a local mm -hmm. place because we want to support local at least on one of our adventures if we can go to a local restaurant so we can encourage you to do it so this place you probably would not have stopped by mm -hmm. if you just drove by it you would say nah small. He said, nah, I don't think I want to eat there. Mm -hmm. uh, we were outside, and you could smell the food inside. I said, that smells good. And then people were carrying food out, mm -hmm. went in. The waitress, and we're dropping stuff in right now so you can see it. The waitress was so nice. She asked us not to videotape her and was laughing, so I don't think we got her in the, in the video. But she was really nice. Uh, Teresa ordered our food, mm -hmm. and as usual, we got two different meals. Mm -hmm. uh, you got... Well, to back up, this was called Grill Works, W-O-R-X. And we, we usually, when we go in a place, we ask, what are you known for? You know, what, yeah. what's the most, you know, popular thing on your menu? And she said they're known for their breakfast. And they're only open until 2. So, um, of course, we had to get the breakfast. And I always ask questions, you know, like what's house made yeah. and i straight up asked her about the breakfast gravy and she said don't make me lie <laughs> so we uh, didn't get the gravy we didn't get the gravy but the biscuits were homemade the pancakes um so i got like a breakfast sampler so I, we got a couple of pancakes and two eggs and then you got some bacon hash sausage browns. hash browns uh, and then we did order one of their biscuits one just of this, to, yeah try and they were the big biscuits as my daddy would say cat head biscuits we'll talk about her her meal before i get to mine uh everything yours oh it was the pancakes delicious. The, you have to get the pancakes they were really very good, good. Uh, um bacon I mean, every, was crisp all of it was good i don't eat grits but you yeah the grits were okay the grits were, the grits were probably my least favorite but the um Everything else was the hash browns were super crunchy. Everything was just Eggs really was order good. how you wanted mm -hmm. it. Uh, bacon was good, sausage, everything, everything you got. And was they good. were uh, very attentive to you, so your glass didn't get empty. I mean, they filled your. Um, and they did glass give us up. a copy of the uh, menu. menu. And yep. if, if, if I've not lost it, we will show that right I now. I put too. it in over your visor. Okay. I will drop that in. Uh, photos of it. It should say at the end. Mm -hmm. And that way you can glance at the very end of the program. Uh, always when our program's going off, wait till it gets to the end because we show photos, we show other things. But at the end of it, there'll be the menu so you can uh, pause and look at it. Um, but yours was really good. Mm -hmm. And you said the highlight of yours was the pancakes. The pancakes. Mm -hmm. So that's what you said they were known yeah, for. Yeah, and I'm not a, I mean, I like a pancake. but I got very little of it. I mean, you know, Al, oh I honestly, I got a couple bites of the Okay. <laughs> and then um, Rodney got a double cheeseburger and onion rings. Yes. And it r reminded us, well, we kind of judge everything by... Growing up. Growing up. We're... Ford's drive-in. 
we'll, you know, I always tell you where we're from because our accent don't give us away. Nothing else will. <laughs> we're from the Appalachian Mountains. We're from Eastern Kentucky. My wife is from uh, Mingo County, Western. I'm from Martin County, Kentucky. And um, we kind of judge things because the area was a while before we had like a Pizza Hut and all that stuff. Nothing changed. Yes. You know, you everything was just locally owned and there was a restaurant and it was called Ford's Drive-In. And that's just to kind me of, the, we dr- the <laughs> judge. pinnacle of um, drive-in food. You know, the burgers, the fries, the hot dogs, that sort of thing. So the hamburger, you got me a double hamburger. Cheeseburger. Uh, a cheeseburger. It was very good. Oh, yeah. It was delicious. Uh, and then she got me a, a onion rings. I like onion rings. With And they brought, you didn't even have to ask for it. Uh-huh. They brought ranch dressing to dip the onion rings in. If you wanted. In. And ketchup. And it, but it was homemade ranch. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, all, it was just really, really good experience. Everybody was friendly. Uh, we would definitely. If I'm back in the area, I'll go back and eat. Yeah. It was just that good. Again, you mm-hmm. walk in, you say, well, I don't know. But then uh, I know there was a, a a man there with his wife and his two kids, I believe. Mm-hmm. And he said, hey, can I ask you a question? I said, well. He says, the burger is any good? <laughs> is the burger any good? <laughs> I said, oh, yes. I said, this reminds me of, of back home, of some of the local joints back mm-hmm. home that we mm-hmm. used to go to. So that's kind of we judged that. That was really good. And then we, we left there. And they well, said, she you, go, recommended. you got to drive downtown. Go downtown. And so it's just a quaint little town. Most of the places were closed. And again, we're dropping in some video of it right now. Yeah. So we did, we're blessed to get to see the laying of the wreaths at the Veterans Garden. And um, that was very moving. Uh, yes. Tears came to my eyes when they played taps. So we're here on... With Veterans, Veterans, Veterans Day was this weekend, so uh, we're going to show you a little bit of that right now as we're talking, but then we'll put the rest of it at the end. We do have to block out the music so we don't get copyrighted issues and all that stuff. Um, but we went down that town, town, looked around. We encourage you. We probably wish we went yesterday yeah. because some of the stores, the little stores, mm-hmm. will be open. Uh, a lot every, of antique. Everything's clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Looks nice downtown, but also. I'm going to drop it in right now. Uh, we went in to a bakery that had just opened. Lou's. When I say just opened up this year, 2023. Mm-hmm. The, the four ladies in there were very nice. Mm-hmm. I think one of them was the owner. Uh, I'm going to hashtag some of their stuff. So uh, I know they're on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. So all that will be connected some way. But do you remember what you got? We got a slice of maple walnut cake. Uh, chocolate um, caramel cupcake and then they said they're known for the croissants so we got a salami mozzarella croissant and we haven't tried it tried it now yet. right now I'm gonna put in there mm-mm-mm. <laughs> if it's really good <laughs> I won't say nothing if it's not but it looked like it's gonna it be really like good so good. If it's as nice as the people were, mm-hmm. it will be a, a it will be really good. But we're going to eat a little bit of that tonight since we've already today. But we'll, anytime you travel, go to that downtown. We did go into a little mercantile, little store. Yes, didn't do no taping in there, but it was. But a, I bought some two Christmas ornaments, so they had some beautiful stuff, and it was pretty reasonably priced. And you want to support those local businesses. It's, yes. It's, it's really good. But we're pretty sure, no, I, I'll put something there that it was really, really good and mm-hmm. what she rates it, I'll throw that in there uh, about the sweet things. Mm-hmm. So then we called around. We were going to go to Jordan Lake and stay this weekend because we had stayed, stayed there before. Beth and Alan was there about a month ago and stayed, uh, but they were full. Mm-hmm. We couldn't find anything. Called places all around the area, and well, we didn't reason, know because it, it was, was UNC's homecoming, and they were playing Duke on Saturday. So a lot of the the hotels were. Full. I don't know who won. I, I was rooting for a tie, but I, I really don't know who won the game. Uh, so we called one place, and they recommend this place because they were full. They had uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and we'd had League Friday. She said, well, I want to recommend this place, and that's the reason we're here. At the Wishing Well. She re- she recommended it. Uh, let's talk about this place a little mm-hmm. bit. It's 
I forget how long it's been here. I want to let you know if you go to the website, and I'll put a link in the description about the website. If you go to there, they um, manage properties too, mm -hmm. but they own this, so you have to go down a little bit. And because Al pulled it up, he wanted to see what it looked like, and he said, "I went off it because I thought it was a different uh, yeah. website." But you go down, it'll say RV, and you can pull it up, and you can see a little bit of it. Um, I would come back here. Well, we were kind of skeptical because he told us when you put in your your site number it the map you know google maps or whatever will take you directly to the to the site yes. and we're thinking oh no this is because it has an address yeah every single place has an address so this is something important for you if you're going to do a little uh be here for three weeks two weeks or mm -hmm. even a week and you want an amazon delivery mm -hmm. you can do it here so that's what they'll bring it to your site to. this used to be a trailer park and they moved all of the trailers off and redone everything and redone and Rewired. redid and um landscaped and everything so the sites are huge yes they're very long the, our site was perfectly level yes you didn't just, have to do he just backed in and you got a lot of uh, and you'll see at the end of the video when i'm when i show you the fire yesterday that's at the very end of the campsite mm -hmm. but you have plenty of room like i'm sitting here talking I can't hear somebody else mm -hmm. close to me because no. you know, we're looking at um, tree line. Ours is the best because you are just looking at tree line. And <sighs> he was going to put us somewhere else, and he texted me the day uh, we were leaving, said, "Oh, I moved you because this one came open, mm -hmm. so we're down here." Uh, Definitely would come here again. The only thing, and you may notice, Lady Grace very, very dusty, and so is the, uh, the truck. It's gravel, all the even the road. Yeah. And, so you do get very, very dusty and dirty. But they keep gravel here, so they kind of look at mm -hmm. the sites, and if they see they're getting unlevel, they'll put more gravel in to mm -hmm. get the uh, the campsite level. Now, when we first pulled in, we went too far to mm -hmm. the back, and I was going to have to uh, put the level, or uh, what do you call the roll thing, whatever you want to call them, to, to go up on. And I said, well, let me pull up a little closer to uh, away from that, and I did, and it was perfectly level, so mm -hmm. we didn't have to do that. Uh, they have no internet here no we no thought they had no cable. cable there's no cable they do have it set up if you're going to do long term and there is a lot of long term people here mm -hmm. but he drives through and he doesn't he doesn't allow them to keep a bunch of junk underneath their campers he doesn't allow them to put a bunch of junk around their campers so it adds a little bit more to your experience because even though you've got long-term campers here they are not allowed to put a lot of junk around it, which is is nice. I really, I'm glad they do that because we've been some places they don't push yeah, that as much. Yeah. Uh, so again, we would come here if you're coming here to do work, and again, you're going to be here for a couple of months, which you probably could rent this for two or three months if you were here uh, doing traveling nursing or something. You can get TV. You can get internet here for you personally. Mm -hmm. There is mailboxes up front for that. Mm -hmm. But one reason he done that also is to say down the road that RVing goes down and people's not doing as much, they could still allow trailers to come in here mm -hmm. and make sure there's income coming in for them. But right now he said it's just easier to deal with campers. Mm -hmm. So we would recommend you to come to this campsite. And if you do call them, make sure you mention, because he did follow us on YouTube did he? just mentioned we're on our way we saw it on there and we want to come and uh, experience mm -hmm. what Rodney and Teresa experience. My nose is starting to run. Yeah she's got to Mr. Buddy again like I said and it's starting to get a little chilly so she'll want to go in and the a few sun's minutes. gone down. Uh, but that's kind of our definitely our take. we would recommend the spot it's you can hear occasionally some road noise and I think there's some houses over to our right and I could hear some children playing earlier but when you get inside the camper you hear nothing mm -hmm. it is it is super super quiet and it is very safe this is a very safe area yeah um, so now we highly recommend it there is campers here and I guess they've left and went somewhere because we've not seen them since we've been here so uh, this weekend, there's some people gone. They're not here, so they may went and saw family or whatever. So again, this is a place we'd recommend. We will put the website in the description for you. Again, if you go over there, 
scroll down a little bit and you'll see RVs. And if you call them, they will answer the phone. If they don't leave a message, then they will call you right back. Uh, they did that for me. Mm -hmm. Or you can even text the person if you use the phone number. That's what I did. Uh, we text back and forth after I first notified him and talked with him. Uh, there is no on-site check-in no. here. No. They'll give you the place to go. Then they'll come by and meet you either that evening or the next morning. Didn't he give you a discount for cash? Yes, if you pay cash, it's it's, a, it's about a ten dollar discount uh, for us. So I figure that would be the same for you. Ten dollars for the stay? No, for the night. Oh wow! It's, it's cheaper because credit cards are charging more money now mm -hmm. so they did give a discount for that I'm trying to, to think if there was anything else again no on-site check-in they will come by and see you so if you want firewood you need to bring it they haven't mm -hmm. built one here I think he said that's something they haven't done yet but maybe they will do but down the road is put a, a place here on on site but it's quiet mm -hmm. uh, he did let us know that he drives around and checks things at night and everything. So they kind of keep up with everything here, even though they're not on site here. Mm -hmm. So is that it? I think so. I think overall, I mean, I, I got some good knowledge, you know, while I was here. It's been, the weekend has been restful. I mean, we've been a little lazy in the mornings. and Yeah, just watching uh, YouTube stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's been, it's been good. It's always good to get away and when you, we, the way we feel when we're in our camper it's like it's our second home so it's just good to get a good she sleeps good in here just as, she, as just she does as good as I do at home because really we could load up now and go home and be there tomorrow morning but we're going to get up tomorrow morning and connect and get out of here and drop her off at work and I go home and unload everything so she gets by easy tomorrow yeah, I do. Somewhat. So she has to work, but I have to unload the camper. So listen, we appreciate you. Again, thank you for all new subscribers. You know the thing to do. Uh, it really helps us if you subscribe. It really helps us a lot if you comment and you give us a thumbs up. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when we put a new one out. And if you watch the whole video uh, from start <laughs> to finish, uh, it helps you to push it out mm -hmm. more. So that would mean a lot to us if you continue doing that. Uh, if you watch the videos, it just helps us get out what we're trying to do but we appreciate you and we'll see you next time because we're on our way bye bye